Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving a problem from lead code which is under the hard category and the problem is termed as least frequently used cache. Now in order to solve this problem, there is a simple prerequisite. You should have solved the least recently, not frequently, recently used cache that is the LRU cache. Now if you haven't solved this, you can pause this video over here and you can watch my video explanation. I'll be leaving the link in the description for LRU cache. So make sure you check this out before actually starting off with this. So what is LFU cache? So the problem states that you have to design a data structure which gives you two functionality which is the get function. The other one is the put function. Let's talk about the get function. The get function says if you have a key, it gets the value of key if it exists. Okay, in the data structure if the key exists, it will return you the value. If it doesn't exist, it will return you minus one. So that is how the get function should be implemented. What about the put function? The put function takes couple of values. The first one is the key while the next one is the value. What it states is this value, you have to update the value of the key if the key is already in your data structure. Okay, that means if it is there, just go and update it. Now, if it is not present, then insert the key if not present. Like if it is not present, you have to insert the key into your cache or data structure. Now, when the cache becomes full, uh, you're given a data structure, right? It definitely has a size. For an example, the size is two over here. So the size of the data structure is two. What happens when a put function is called and your data structure is completely filled up? In that case, you remove the LFU one, the guy who was least frequently used, least frequently used, okay? And if there are multiple guys who are least frequently used, in that case, the guys who are least frequently used, now among them, remove the LRU, the least recently used guy. That is how you have to design both the functions. And the main criteria over here is you have to design them in a BGO of one complexity. Yes, both the functions should work in a constant time. Now, generally, if this question comes up in an interview, you do not have a time to actually tell him the naive solution and everything because for this, it's going to take a lot of time. So make sure you straight away get into the solution after you have understood the problem. So you have theoretically understood these functions. Let's just do a dry run of these operations so that you understand the LFU cache in a much, much better way. Okay. So initially it says the size of your data structure at max can be two, not more than that. So the first function is put one of 12. 1 of 10. So what you'll do is you can say uh, the frequency of 1 like there is one guy with a key 1 and a value 10 whose frequency is 1. Perfect. Next it states put 2 of 20. So I can say there is another guy who has a frequency of 1 and that's 2 of 20. So these two operations are done. Now the next operation comes get of 1. Now when I say get of 1, 1 sees the value is 10 so it returns but but there was one which is previously having a frequency of one. Now you called a get. So you are you're taking it one, right? You are executing one. So this guy will go on and say that, hey, my frequency is now two. So this guy will go on to the frequency of two. So this is how the get of one is over. Now there is put of three of 30. When I say put three of 30, what happens is I see the cache size is two. And if the cache size is two, what I'll... What will I do when the cache is full removes the least frequently used which has the last least frequently. This is the least frequent guy. So what you'll do is you will remove the least frequently used guy removed. Once you have removed put 3 and 30. So you can definitely take 3 and 30 and put it over here. So once you put it over here I can say put 3 of 30 is also done. Now what I have is get of 2. Do you have 2 in your cache? No. So what you'll do is you return minus one. Next it says get three. When I say get of three, I see three is having a value 30. So it goes as as 30. Once it goes, I have access three. So the frequency of this guy will now become two because I've accessed it the second time. So get of three is also done. Now put a four comma four. So when I go and see in the cache, the cache is having a size of 2. That was the maximum size allowed. So whenever it is full, 
removes the LFU. So LFU as of now is 2. The least frequency is 2. And among this, I have two guys. So there is a tie. And if there is a tie, the guy who was least recently, LRU, least recently used will be removed. So I just now use 3. So who was the least recently used guy? Obviously 1 comma 10. So you will remove it. Okay. So after this, you'll take 4 comma 4 and you'll put it over here. So that's also done. Next, there's a get of 1. Do you have a 1? Obviously not. So what you'll do is, you'll do a minus 1. Do you have a 3? Definitely, 3 is having a value of 30. So you will give as 30. And since you have access 3 again, it will go to the frequency 3 this time. So you'll say 3 comma 30. Next, get of 4. Whenever there is a get of 4, 4 comma 4. So the value is 4. So it will be 4. And since you have accessed 4, it will go on from 1 frequency to 2 frequency. So that's how your data structure will look and this is how your get functions are going to work. So I hope you have understood the get as well as the put function. So you can pause this video and you can think of a solution in Vigo of 1. If you cannot, then you can come back and watch it again. You basically uh, apply apply at every company but you don't get any reply. That is the story of every other fresher in every other college. Are you still waiting to hear from companies you apply to via hiring platforms? Well, let me tell you, it's completely a waste of time. It can take months for your application to reach the companies. What if I told you there was a solution to this problem? Have you heard about these companies, uh, all these that are seen in the screen? You know what they? What are the starting packages that they offer? Somewhere around 15 plus LPA, 20 plus LPA. That is what they currently are offering. What if I tell you these companies are hiring freshers and the best thing is they will be hiring you in a week's time. Yes, this is possible. What you need to do is you just need to go and participate in the relevant test and you'll be getting a test score within 24 hours and with that test score, you can definitely apply for interviews. So with relevant, no one cares which college you come from. You should just be 18 years and above. You should either be a fresher or you should have 0 to 3 years of experience and you should be able to join within 30 days of the test. So the registrations are still open. Make sure you go and register because the slots are going to open. And it's kind of a first come first service basis kind of a thing. So whoever registers first, he gets a first shot at the interviews. So make sure you register as soon as possible. I'll be leaving all the job descriptions in my description. So make sure you check it out after watching this video. So in order to implement the LFU cache, you need to know about the LRU cache. So if you have seen my previous video, you know that in order to implement least recently used, I was using a doubly linked list. Remember, and whenever I was saying put 1 comma 10, I just took this and put it into the head from the front. I put it right. So I'll put it from the front. So currently this list is having only one element. This is 1 comma 10. Suddenly someone else comes up and says put 2 comma 20. So this again goes into the front. So 2 comma 20. And if you remember in order to find least recently used, you're looking from the back. The last guy was your least recently used guy. Remember this concept from LRU? This is the concept which we will be using in order to implement the LFU cache. So in order to implement the LFU cache, we will be requiring a couple of hash maps. The first hash map is a frequency list hash map. Basically, it's an integer frequency and a list. This list is a doubly linked list. Okay. And this, there is a map of key node. So this is a key, which is again an integer. And this is the node. Now, this is basically the address where it this key appears okay so this is the keynote hash map and we will require a couple of variables one is the capacity which counts how many elements are in your data structure and the other one is the frequency which keeps a track which is the least frequency guy as of now okay so initially it has been said that the size of the cache at maximum can be three so make sure you take a note of it next it is saying put of one comma ten so what you will do is before putting this before putting this check it well, does it exist previously? No, it doesn't. Yes, no, it doesn't exist previously. So that means this is the first time it is coming. Correct. Next, you will check. Is there space in your cache? The capacity as of now is zero. So there is definitely space in your cache. So now you'll take this and put it into your cache. So one, ten. First time it is coming. What will be its frequency? One. So you'll say map. That is your frequency. And... Since you do not have a list, doubly linked list, create a doubly linked list or a list as of now and you store this one comma 10 and you know how to implement this doubly linked list. I've already taught you that in LRU cache, you know how to implement this LRU, right? So one comma 10 has been put. Now once you put this, can I say 
my least frequency will now change to 1 because as of now my cache is having a least frequency of 1 and I also have a single element so that is how it changes and can I say the key 1 is present assume this is uh, the position x so it's present at a x address so I can definitely see this this is the step 1 okay so the next says 2 comma 20 you have to put it again the same step does 2 comma 2 uh, 20 exist in your keynote it doesn't exist if it doesn't exist the next step is is there a capacity yes there is a capacity it's only of size 1 the maximum is size 3 so there is definitely a capacity and if there is a capacity we'll take this 2 comma 20 now since it did not exist the frequency will be 1 and if the frequency is 1 what will happen it will go right at the front you will follow the LRU cache logic so what you will do is this will be wherever it was so 1 comma 10 is wherever it was you will take this 2 comma 20 and you will put it right at the front and this will have an address let's say y so you will say 2 exists at y this is what you will tell and you will say the capacity is now 2 but the least frequency will still stay as 1 so this is also done next comes up put 3 comma 30 so when I'm saying put 3 comma 30 again the same step does it exist in your keynote no it doesn't so previously it did not next is there a capacity available yes it's only 2 whereas I have a maximum size of 3 so I can take this 3 and put it again it previously did not exist so what will be the frequency of 3 1 so it will go to 1 and it will take the front position so 3 comma 30 takes the front position and assume this is a z address so 3 comma z is where it will go so once you have done this please make sure the size is also increased to 3 so the operation 3 comma 30 is completed next put a 4 comma 40 so when I say put a 4 comma 40 what you will do is you will go and check does it exist in your keynote it doesn't but next step is capacity check I see that the capacity is full and if the capacity was full you will find who is the least frequently used guy was the least frequency 1 you will go to 1 and you will say oh goodness this is having 3 elements this is having 3 elements so 3 elements are occurring once so the LRU guy will be removed since there is a tie now as you remember the LRU concept will be removed this so make sure you remove it from here removed next please make sure you remove it from here removed after that you have made space for this 4 comma 40 now this 4 comma 40 will go at the front will go at the front so if you put that into the front obviously uh, this will go over here 4 comma 40 the guys uh, 3 comma 30 will be here uh, 2 comma 20 will be here this is y already this is z probably you can call it as w so 4 goes at the position w so this is how you put 4 by removing the least frequently used cache and if there was a tie you remove the least recently used I hope you understand that right next is get of 3 so is 3 there so we'll go there in the keynote map next comes get of 3 is it there we will go to keynote and say 3 oh yes it is it is there where it is at z so you can directly access z yes once you can access the node you can get the value so you can say the value is 30 but 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 you need to delete this node isn't it you need to delete this node and once you have deleted the frequency it will go to is this two frequency so, so there will be another list where this 3 comma 30 will go because now its frequency is 2 remember because this was access so the frequency will change so this is where it will come again now just assume it is having a new node address or you can again say it's the same node you just pick up that node uh, cut the links and put it over here so I can assume it's having the same address so it works fine get of 3 is also done next it says get of Two. when I say get of 2 what does that mean I'll go to the keynote and I'll say yes it does exist yes it does exist where does at y at y what's the value 20 so I'll say the value is 20 after that I'll remove it because the frequency will change and if the frequency changes it will become 2 because previously it was 1 it will be 1 more so it will come over here so just remove this please make sure you write it over here 3 comma 30 will be here and 2 comma 20 will come over here 
and I can say it's having the same address, assuming I've just put that node and put it over here. So I have made sure that 2 comma 20 is here. Once that is done, I can say get of 2 is completed. The next get of 4. When I say get of 4, what will happen? I'll go, I'll see it exists at W. So it does exist. So what I'll see is the value is 40. The value is definitely 40. But what will happen? 4 comma 40 will come out, correct? It will right come at the front. So probably it will come over here. But this is an W, but this is an H case. I see the frequency one guy is having a list which is empty, which is empty. So what you will do is you will go and say, hey, now my least frequency is two because one is empty. So I can say this is least and that's two. So that's how you can maintain the frequency list hash map. So I can say get four is also completed. Now next is put five comma 50. Now if I say put a five comma 50, what will happen? Checks out, is there a five? No, that means I have to insert it. Okay, so capacity is already three. But yes, the capacity is already three. So what will I do? I will say five, why don't you do one thing? Since the capacity is full, you remove the LFU guy. So I see the frequency is two. So at two, there are three guys again, again a tie. If there is a tie, you have to remove the LRU. And since you made sure everything was inserted at the front, the last guy will be your LRU. And once that is removed, please make sure you remove it from here. Done. Right after that, what you will do is very simple. You'll take this 5 comma 50 and you will put it into your frequency one. Very, very important because it did not exist previously. So you'll make sure this 5 comma 50 goes over here at some new address, let's say X. So the five goes at the new address X. So I can say five comma 50 has been inserted, but since you inserted this, can I say the frequency got updated to something which is one? I can definitely say, yes, I can definitely say. So I'm done with put off five comma 50. Once this operation is done, let's assume you have an operation which says put off two comma 25, then what will happen? I'm saying 2 comma 25. You'll go and check, does 2 exist? Yes, it does. Wherever it does exist, just make sure you just change this to 25. Is that it? No, you have accessed this. You have accessed it. That means the frequency will increase. So you'll take this 2 comma 25 and you'll say its frequency is increased by 1. So you'll create uh, another frequency comma and you'll say, yeah, list. this is the list. And please make sure 2 comma 25 is there and assuming it's the same node Y, so it uh, maintains its address. So this is how you will make sure put, get and everything is addressed. So if I summarize the entire logic, it's just LRU that I have implemented and I've had used a frequency list. Basically for every frequency, for every frequency like 1, 2, 3, an uh, individual LRU, an uh, individual LRU, an uh, individual LRU has been implemented. Nothing special. Every time an element is accessed, what I do is I just take out from the current frequency, I increase its frequency and I put it into the next frequency. Got it? Whenever you access an element, take it out from the current, put it into the next and write it at the front because that's LRU. Correct? So that's how I have implemented the entire LFU cache uh, using the LRU cache. In so guys, this will be it for the implementation of this problem. If you want to check out the code implementation, you'll find the video link in the description for both C++ as well as Java. I hope you have understood the entire video. And just in case you did, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, please, please, please do consider subscribing. With this, let's wrap up this one. Bye-bye. Take care.